Hi everyone, with this presentation we will cover token workflows for customer engagement and loyalty. We also want to establish service now capabilities in terms of managing distributed ledger tokens. Let's dig into it. Let's start with the business problem. It's impossible to underestimate the need for brands to connect with customers in a more personal and intimate way. The vast majority of customers expect services to be personalized to their specific story and needs, and they get very frustrated when they do not receive that. Companies that do that right derive a huge incentive from the market. Although widespread, classic loyalty programs doesn't seem to be the key to customer earth anymore. Pandemic has just accelerated the trend towards a more personal connection between customer and brands, and failing at that represents a major risk for every organization. In this presentation, we want to establish how ServiceNow can provide innovative solutions to customer engagement and loyalty using distributed ledger tokens. Token reinforcement has been widely studied in psychology as a critical mechanism to support the positive and disruptive behaviors, and it applies to customer service at scale. Tokens change the perspective of how customers interact with brands, creating trust and a more intimate relationship between customers and organizations. Loyalty can be augmented thanks to the verifiability of distributed ledger tokens and the ability to connect them to the moments that matter for customers. Token also allow telling a verifiable story about products by certifying their provenance and by making any item truly unique. So what are tokens? It's important to say that tokens are not cryptocurrencies. They are digital items. Tokens embody the business value of human activities. They are also records of the distributed ledger. This is a definition by Don Tapscott, founder of the Blockchain Research Institute, that emphasizes five distinct properties of tokens. Tokens are valuable, representative, distinct, digital, and authentic assets. They represent something valuable to their owners and the collective of people. Tokens can represent material assets like products or immaterial assets like attestations, affiliation, or intellectual property. They are distinct as each individual class represents a category of item on its own. And tokens are, of course, digital, being typically represented by a distributed ledger. And all parties can verify the authenticity and provenance of these assets. Tokens have always been part of the human society in different shapes or forms, and they are today at the foundation of the new Web3 ecosystem. Every introduction about tokens will tell you about fungible and non-fungible tokens. Fungibility is indeed an important property of tokens. Fungible tokens are items of a class that are exchangeable the one with another. Some examples are loyalty points, reputation, utility tokens, commodities, or money. Non-fungible tokens or NFTs are items which are part of the same class, but are all unique, not exchangeable between them like products, assets, artworks, IP or patents, diplomas, or land titles. Despite fungibility being important, the reality of token classification goes far beyond fungibility. This is a high-level representation of the token taxonomy framework by the Interwork Alliance. Although different efforts are in place to provide a comprehensive token classification, we find the work of the IWA especially relevant. Without going in any detail here, it's important to note how many dimensions exist for a token taxonomy. Tokens can have different base types and an unlimited number of behaviors and properties. A token template made by a formula and a definition cascades into a token class that is deployed on Ledger and individual token instances like the one you can own in your wallet. This creates an almost endless number of combinations that allows to create a virtually infinite number of business models on top of that. Let's now talk about wallets for just a moment. The wallet is a key component of a token economy. Wallets are pivotal to customer centricity because they are where customers can store their tokens and other verifiable credentials. Through Wallet, the customer can interact with tokens from multiple brands. Enterprise also own Wallet, 
where they can forge and manage the token representing their products and services. The interplay between customer wallets and enterprise wallets is at the heart of token-based business models. It's also important to mention that tokens avoid many integration challenges as the customer acts as the orchestrator of all the interaction through the distributed ledger. In the demo, we want to see an example of a customer journey where tokens add a deep connection between brands and customers. We will start with the manufacturer, best producer, creating the product and establishing a verifiable provenance of it. Then the shoe company, Fast Shoes, will sell the product to the customer, let's say Alice, together with its digital twin that she's going to own in her wallet. Then Fast Shoes will target customers with a new challenge. If the customer can run a marathon and finish it within the first 300 positions, she will receive two tickets for the Stillwater concert. Alice decides to train for the marathon, receiving suggestions through the Fast Shoes site and arriving at the 250 position in the competition. That was a great accomplishment for Alice, she's extremely proud of. She received in her wallet a badge from Super Marathon and NFT celebrating her success. With her shoes digital twin and the digital badge representing her success, she can then go to the Stillwater site and redeem her two tickets which you will also receive in our wallet as two units of the concept fungible token. With the two tokens, Alice and her friend Bob will enjoy the concert. This interaction is significantly different than traditional brand customer interactions we are used to. We believe you can see a pattern here. You can switch brand names and industries and create a new token workflow that represents different products and services and connect them with the moment that matter of the customer in an endless number of combination. The token owned by Alice are very valuable to her and connected to her personal experience in a way that she and the brands can further leverage. So let's recap the token workflow we will see in the live demo. Alice is at the center and we use her wallet to interact with the different brands. Runfast is a shoe company selling the product to Alice. The relationship with Runfast is represented by the product Digital Twin as an NFT owned by Alice in her wallet. Super Marathon is the marathon organizer, which will recognize Alice's achievement by providing her a digital badge, also an NFT that Alice will own in her wallet. Then Alice presenting the two NFT she own will be able to redeem the tickets for the Stillwater concert, which will also be owned in Alice's wallet. Moreover, the provenance of the product will be publicly verifiable on the ledger as the original NFT minting transaction. It is very important to recognize that tokens can be both input and output to customer interactions with brand. Multiple token workflows can then be chained depending on the customer preferences and desires. One last slide about the high-level architecture before we move to the live demo. In the demo, we will use a single service now instance to represent all different parties, although every step could virtually run on a separate service now environment. Some part of the process could even not use service now still providing the ability to create a business ecosystem. We will use Adara as the distributed ledger and the service now Adara connector as the layer two to speak with the Adara services. In the demo, we use primarily the Adara token service, but the consensus service and the smart contract service can provide significant value for more complex use cases. As customer's wallet, we will use Ashpack, which can be both a browser extension or a mobile app. The enterprise wallet uh, on the other side are set up natively in the service now Adara connector. Finally, we will be using NFT storage as the backend for the NFT payloads, which is a service of protocol labs, which uses the IPFS immutable file system. So with that said, let's move to the demo environment. Okay, here we are on the demo environment. Let's have a look to the uh, Edera token management application and the objects that have been configured for this demonstration. First of all, we have the accounts. We have accounts for all the organizations involved and we have one account for the customer, Alice. The difference is that while the keys for the enterprise accounts are controlled in the instance, specifically in the Edera connector, the account for the customer Alice is controlled by our wallet. So we have four keys for all the uh, organization and every key is controlled by uh, a user on the ServiceNow instance. 
Now, in the wild, each one of these key could be managed by a different organization and belong to that organization for controlling its signatures. Then we have tokens. There are three tokens already created. These are the classes, and then there will be items in these classes. Uh, the first one is the token from a fast shoes representing the product. This is an unfungible token with a potential infinite number of NFTs minted within that class. Uh, the current initial supply is zero and the max supply is also zero, meaning this is an infinite amount. Uh, then we have the Stillwater concert ticket. This is a fungible token with a maximum number uh, of units uh, created of 2000, which represent uh, individual people attending the, the concert. Then we have a third ticket, which is the badge from the super marathon for the people who completed the marathon within the first 500 position. Um, this is non-fungible as well, uh, but it's finite amount uh, with 500 as the number of unit. In this demo, we will refer to the steps of the customer journey as described in the presentation. So number one is best producer, minting and transferring the NFT to Fast Shoes. Number two is the interaction between Alice and Fast Shoes. Number three is the interaction between Alice and Super Marathon. And number four, finally, is the interaction between Alice and the Stillwater site. Okay, so with that intro, let's start with the token workflow. In the first step of the token workflow, I'm logged in as the token manager of best producer, and I need to do two different operations. The first one is to mint the NFT representing the product, and the second one is transferring this NFT to fast shoes, establishing the provenance of the item. So let's do that in a manual way through the token management application, and of course, this process can be further automated through workflows. So I need to select the token representing the uh, product, fast shoes, and I want to mint an NFT. So this NFT model is asking me four different information. The first one is the name, let's say running shoes model alpha. And uh, the second one is the creator. So this is going to be manufacturing, uh, manufacturing uh, plant 138 Mumbai. Uh, the third one is the description, so this is going to be Alice's shoes. Uh, and an image representing the item. I can either take a picture or um, have a different uh, uh, upload. Uh, and I can uh, uh, submit that to create the NFT. Okay, the transaction succeeded. The NFT has been uh, created. We can see the item here. We have the information coming from the DLT certifying that this is the serial number one uh, for this non-fungible token. So now what we want to do is to transfer this item. The only information required to transfer the NFT is uh, who I want to transfer the item to. In this case, I want to transfer to Fast Shoes. Um, and uh, I can submit the transaction uh, which will be signed by the key of the token manager of best producer. We can see now that the transaction is uh, successful um, and we could open this one on ASCAN to, to verify. Um, but uh, we can also see through the ServiceNow interface that the item number one, which is uh, Alice Shoes, now are owned by Fast Shoes. And if we look to the balances as well, we see that now best producer has zero fast shoes NFTs, while fast shoes has one. In the second part of this token workflow, we represent Alice. Alice is the customer. She just acquired a pair of shoes from RunFast, and she connected to the uh, RunFast uh, customer service portal in order to redeem her pair of shoes. She can go under the Get Help section in the Service category, and she has a catalog item called Redeem Fast Shoes NFTs. When she clicks on that, uh, she is immediately recognized. She sees a picture of her shoes, and the account ID that she used um, to configure uh, the, uh, the, the profile is visualized automatically, as well as the token ID and the serial number of her shoes. Uh, there is a recommendation. Uh, to associate this token ID to the uh, account she has just created in the wallet. 
she connected a wallet called Ashpack, uh, and in that wallet she can manage assets like uh, fungible token or non-fungible token. And here she can associate the NFT to her account. She has just to copy paste uh, the token ID and the, she can see all the information about this token and she can click on associate account. She can then come back to the catalog item and she can copy paste uh, the secret code that she received by email by uh, RunFast and order this catalog item. She can then go to Ashpack under the NFT category and verify that the NFT has been delivered. All the information about the NFT are visible, including the chain of trust and the history of the item. So now Alice owns her first NFT in her wallet. Now that Alice owns the RunFast NFT, she decides to accept the challenge from RunFast. If she can complete the super marathon and end within the first 500 position, she will get two tickets for the Stillwater concert and be able to meet the rock band. The Stillwater are her favorite rock band. She trained very hard and the day of the marathon, she ends 250s. She is very proud of her achievement. In the third part of the flow, I will represent the token manager for super marathon. So Alice completed her task and the token manager is in charge of transferring the NFT to her. Uh, in the case of super marathon, the process is more manual. The token has already been created and the token manager will use the Edera uh, token management application in order to mint uh, the NFT corresponding to Alice's achievement. So this is the token and the token manager can mint a new NFT. The information required depend on the NFT model, but here again, we have the name, uh, Marathon 2022 Completion. Uh, the creator is going to be Super Marathon Team. And the description is Alice Marathon Completion. There will be an image to celebrate that. So in this case, we have this super marathon image of Alice and it will demand the creation of the NFT for Alice. Normally, the NFT will be minted in batch, but in this case, we are doing specifically. Okay, the transaction has been completed successfully. As you can see, the NFT has been minted under the badges category. Uh, now what the token manager want to do is to transfer this item to Alice. Again, we just need to specify the target from the address book and submit this transaction. The transaction is successful and the token manager can also verify on the ledger that Alice now owns one of the Super Marathon badge. From Alice's perspective, she can open her Ashpack wallet and she can verify that the NFT has been delivered. In the NFT again, there are all the information about the originator and the history of this item. So in this fourth and last step of the token workflow, I will impersonate Alice again. Alice now owns two NFTs. One is the product from Fast Shoes. The second one is the badge from Super Marathon, representing her achievement in the event. Um, so with these two NFTs, she wants to go to the Stillwater site and she wants to claim a rewards, uh, the two tickets for the concert. She has already associated uh, the Stillwater concert ticket uh, to her wallet and she is now about to connect her wallet to the site. Uh, she doesn't even have to log in. Uh, she can uh, cryptographically sign a transaction in order to represent her identity. So uh, the first step is the uh, connection to the site and she needs to select uh, the identity that she wants to impersonate in this case is only one defined in that wallet. And with that step, uh, the wallet is connected uh, to, uh, to the site. Uh, and then she can uh, verify her account that is equivalent to login in Web3. She receives a pop-up and she can approve that pop-up. Uh, and this is where the cryptographic signature happened. When she has approved um, the, um, the account, verified the account, there is a green flag close to her account. So what she has to do now, she has to verify the ownership of the NFTs, which represent the shoes and the, the marathon. And this is done by querying the ledger. So in this step, 
Stillwater is verifying that she has all the entitlement in order to get the tickets for the concert, and at that point she's able to claim the reward in her wallet. So we can see now that the transaction succeeded, so she can again open her wallet and she can verify by refreshing that she now owns two units of the Stillwater concert ticket. And with that we have completed the token workflow. So let's derive a few takeaways. First of all, we believe you can see now how tokens represent a new paradigm for customer engagement and loyalty that organization can broadly adopt across different industries and products. Secondly, we have shown how the NOW platform can consistently orchestrate token workflows, making ServiceNow the ideal environment to manage tokens at scale. A key part of managing tokens is to make them not live in isolation, but as part of existing business processes that customers already manage on ServiceNow. Lastly, but not less importantly, token workflows allow brands to create collaborative business models where multiple organizations can be part of the same ecosystem and collectively create business value for customers. Thank you for listening. We hope you find the presentation and demo valuable.